Hey guys, this is Train Junkies here. Uh, welcome to another collection video here today. Today I'm going to be doing my PlayStation 2 collection. This is going to be part one because um, I'm going to because I just have so many games that it's going to be uh, just way too long to do it all um, on one video. So I'm going to split it up in two parts. Um, this is going to be part one. I'm going to do half uh, half of my games uh, on the part one and um, do the rest of them on part two. I have 40 games total, so I'll do 20 on. So I'll do the top of the do 20 on this one and do 20 on the next one. So let's get started. <clears throat> okay, this game is NHL 2K7, and this was actually my very first hockey game, and I actually really really enjoyed this game. Uh, this game was a lot of fun, and um, I really um, really um, like the franchise mode on it. And other than that, it was it was a pretty good game. The graphics were kind of crappy though, but pretty good hockey game though. Next game, MLB 09 The Show. Um, this game was actually really was like pretty bad. Um, I had a lot of, uh, higher expectations for this game because I know I've seen a lot a lot of the the show games and um, I had high expectations for this and those de um, I. Those definitely did not meet the expectations that I had for it. So um, I would definitely not recommend getting the show. I'd rather get uh, the 2K Sports Series. Uh, like uh, today, they have 2K11, definitely. But if you have a PlayStation, I would definitely recommend that game, though. Uh, next one is the Polar Express. Um, my only thing on this is, if you've watched, um, watched the movie, I would definitely recommend this game. This game is pretty good. The graphics are... Really well, and this game is very easy to beat. It's not that hard at all. So I definitely recommend this game to get if you're a fan of the movie. Uh, Dance Dance Revolution Supernova. Um, this game was actually really really fun. I really like the use of the eye toy here, because um, I I actually have an eye toy myself, and I really had a lot of fun with this game. I'm um, I'm not that huge of a DV DDR fan, but I really like this game. So if you like dance games, um. This is a really good game to get if you have a PS2. Next game is Gran Turismo 3 A Spec. This game, I definitely, um, I love the Gran Turismo series, um, first of all. and um, But this was definitely not my favorite game in the series. Um, I actually don't have the fourth one for the PS2. I think I might get the fourth one just to add it to my collection. But um, I really, really like the liked um, the Gran Turismo series, but this was not my favorite. The graphics um, were really good on this because this was the first um, Gran Turismo game for the PlayStation 2, and um, the graphics were okay, it Just I the gameplay just didn't feel right. That's the reason why it's not my favorite. So, But if you love the Gran Turismo series, definitely recommend this game. Uh, Fairly Odd Parents Shadow Showdown. This game was actually... Um, well, actually, really, I didn't really like this game, honestly, as I think about it. Uh, the gameplay wasn't really that good on it. Um, I wasn't really a big fan of it. There's a couple other Fairy Odd Parents games that I have that are a little bit better than this one. Star Wars, yeah, Star Wars Battlefront 2. I would say this is probably my favorite game on the PlayStation 2. I mean, the graphics in this are amazing. Um, I love, I mean, I could go back to this game and just play it for hours and never get bored of it. Um, definitely probably one of the most addicting games I've ever played. And, um, the gra and like I said, the graphics are really good, and I really like the use of the Jedi. And I think the concept of it was really well how you're on a map and you get to, you're fighting and trying to invade other, like, invade the dark sides, uh, different planets and galaxies and that. And I really like this game a lot and I would definitely recommend if you're a Star Wars fan you have to get this game this game is amazing <clears throat> Madden NFL 2004 this was actually the very first Madden game I ever ever got and um, I actually really like this game um, the graphics on it were really good um, when I remember I remember when it came out there was a ton of hype about it and uh, I wasn't really into it at that time and then I remember picking up I picked it up used at uh, GameStop, and uh, I put on put on my PlayStation Two, and I absolutely loved it. Um, so if you're a collect if you're a collector and you want to collect the Madden series, you might want to collect this game. 
Ready to Rumble Boxing Round 2. Now, this was a very popular game. Actually, um, I remember this game being very popular for the Sega Dreamcast, um, but I have it for the PlayStation 2, and this game was really, really fun. I had a lot of fun playing this game, and I got a good amount of hours playing it. And um, if you're a uh, boxing fan, um, definitely would recommend getting this game. This game's a lot of fun. This game definitely reminds me of uh, uh, Face Breaker um, for the Xbox 360. <clears throat> Uh, ESPN NFL 2K5. I would say this is probably one of the best football games I've ever played. And I really liked how Sega continued the 2K series at the time. After the Dreamcast was discontinued, they added the football 2K series to other consoles. And I have to say, the graphics at the time were way better than Madden. And I actually like this game way better than Madden 2005, which is the reason why I got it over Madden. And this game was definitely an incredible game. And I also liked how it had the Terrell Owens signature there. Um, this is when he played for the Eagles. But you all know that he's not playing for them anymore. So um, if, you're a fo if you want to collect football games, you have to get this game. This game's incredible. Also, if you're a Sega fan, I would recommend that too. Next game I have is The Incredibles. This um, I would definitely have to say that if you're a fan of the movie... Definitely get this game. This game is an incredible game. Just like it says on the title, The Incredibles. So, um, the gameplay in this was really fun. I really liked the different environments. I think the developers did a great job of doing that for this game. So, I definitely recommend this game if you're a fan of the movie. Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. This was actually the very first Star Wars game that I ever got. Um, I remember playing, playing this game at my friend's house on his Nintendo GameCube. And I would have to say that this game is probably um, one of the best Star Wars games out there. And um, other than Battlefront 2, of course. But um, if you're a big fan of Star Wars, I would definitely recommend getting this game. So, get Star Wars, Lego Star Wars 2. Next game, Pac-Man World 2. This game was actually um, pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm not that huge of a Pac-Man fan. But um, this game is actually pretty um, fun, and I had a great time playing this game, and I just got a good amount of hours into it. So definitely recommend Pac-Man World 2. <clears throat> Next game is uh, the SpongeBob movie. Um, this game is a pretty good game. If you like the movie, you will definitely like this game. Um, so the different levels on it were a lot of fun, and uh, some of it was kind of boring. Um, and the th one thing I really liked about it, they really didn't do that much dialogue, which I really like, because I don't like I don't like games that have a ton of dialogue in the campaign. So this that was uh, pretty fun. Um, so I would definitely recommend this game if you like the movie. All right, next game, Jimmy, the Adventures of Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius Jet Fusion. This is my favorite Jimmy Neutron game. I have a couple Jimmy Neutron games actually, and this is probably my favorite. Um, cause, I mean, it is, I think is very addicting and the different modes that are on there and the different, um, things you can, uh, play around with and the different inventions you can play around with during the game makes it definitely a lot of fun. And I would definitely recommend this game if you've ever watched the TV show and really liked it. All right, next game, uh, MVP Baseball 2004. This is by far the best baseball game I have ever played in my life. I mean, you could look at the 2K11 series, and I'm telling you, there's nothing that meets meets the standards that MVP Baseball set. And um, I wish I would have got 2005. Um, I kind of want to get it just for collection purposes. Um, but this game was just incredible, and I really, really love this game. Um, too bad uh, EA Sports doesn't make uh, baseball games anymore. I wish they did, but this is just incredible. So I definitely recommend getting if you are a sports collector. Get MVP Baseball 2004. This game is amazing. <clears throat> Next game. Sonic Heroes. Now, this game was actually pretty good. I really like this game. This is my very first ever Sonics game I ever picked up. And I remember playing this game way before I got it. My friend had an Xbox, and he had it for the original Xbox. But I definitely uh, like this version a lot better, and I definitely love the multiplayer on this. I remember battling with my siblings on this game just battling with them on multiplayer and with the different teams, and I definitely had a lot of fun with this game. 
Next game on my list is Lego Star Wars the video game. Now you just saw me a while ago do the second one. Um, this was definitely this one was definitely not as good as the second one, but this game is a lot of fun. Um, I definitely liked Episode Three on this one, and it was a lot of fun, definitely. So if you're a fan of the Star Wars series, get this game. Next game, as you can see, there's no cover on it, but there is a game inside, and I will open that up for you. And that game is uh, Fairly Odd Parents Breaking the Rules. The cover got all screwed up for some reason. And, um, so now I have to open the cover to see, uh, what game it is, but this game was actually, uh, pretty much my favorite Fairy Odd Parents game. Uh, the game was pretty good, and I, and, um, definitely liked the gameplay, different gameplay modes in it, and if you're a Fairly Odd Parents fan, definitely get this game. And the last, uh, game I'm going to review for part one is going to be Madden NFL 07. This game was actually, uh, pretty, um, one of my favorite Madden games, I would have to say. Um, the graphics on this for the at the time for the PS2 were really good, and I remember I I pre-ordered this game. This was the first ever Madden game that I actually pre-ordered. I don't pre-order Madden games anymore like I used to, but I remember pre-ordering this game, and I had a lot of fun playing this game. So if, if you like to collect Madden, get Madden NFL 07. Okay, thank you for watching part one of my PS2 collection. Um, please make sure to check out my other videos. I know I have a, I still have my train videos up. Um, we're taking a break right now from the train videos, but hopefully I may a little bit soon get some train videos up. Um, so be sure to check out, and there's going to be a lot more, um, a lot more videos to come soon. So thank you for watching, and see you guys next time.